Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Brock Shimano. Today is July 24th and the markets are selling off for the second day in a row. The corn contract for December is trading down 20 and 3 quarters. November beans down 50 and 3 quarters. Wheat for December trading down 31 and a quarter. And Kansas City wheat trading down 32. Brock, this is a weather driven market, but before we get to that, we did have a crop conditions report come out yesterday. What did we see? Uh, basically, what we saw is a 5% reduction in the good to excellent ratings on corn. That was right in line with what the analysts were expecting. But take a look at where we were standing last year, 62% good to excellent. This year, we're at 26% good to excellent. Soybeans, we came in 3% below uh, or lower on the good to excellent ratings. That's right in line with uh, what the analysts were expecting, about a 3 to 5% reduction there. But look, last year, we were at 62%. Spring wheat, we're down 5% on the good to excellent ratings. Not a big story there, as uh, that crop is looking pretty good uh, across much of the growing region. If we take a look at where we're standing on a national level, the good to excellent rating on the corn uh, ratings have actually fallen drastically over the last several weeks. The green line here, the red line is the poor to very poor condition ratings. We've seen that move up sharply over the last several weeks. And this is in relation to where we were last year, the blue line. You can see we're quite a bit low, below where we were last year at this point. Let's take a look at the top five producing corn states. These five states account for about 65% of the total corn production. You can see over the last few weeks, all of these states have fallen off drastically on the good to excellent rating. The only glimmer of hope that I see out of these five states is Minnesota, the number four producing state, sitting at about 60% good to excellent. Nebraska has actually fallen below 40% as well. Uh, sitting at about 38% uh, on the good to excellent rating. Yeah, looking forward at the at the weather forecast. It, uh, one of the things that concerns me is Nebraska. There was a uh, there was a state that was ahead. It was the, it was right behind Minnesota, and they're going to be uh, continuing to get uh, dry weather and very hot weather. So it looks as though maybe in the coming weeks we'll see Nebraska move down and move lower. Uh, before we get into the uh, observed uh, weather precipitation, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and uh, and we'll talk about the weather as soon as we're back. I'll have to be honest with you, first thing I'm going to mention right up front is, is it's free. Uh, I, I like this, this, this service when, when it's free because, you know, you can tie up a lot of money in, in different services and from experience I found out that uh, you, sometimes you can pay a lot of money and you, you may not be getting that much out of it. Welcome back to Green TV. Looks like we're getting some precipitation across the Midwest. Cody, what are we looking at? Yeah, rain is in the forecast and it looks like it's moving the markets sharply lower. If you take a look at where we've seen precipitation in the last 24 hours, it's right along this corridor right here. If you, uh, if you switch over here, this is what the uh, moisture we will see here in the next uh, six hours. And, and really we're getting a lot of moisture in areas that we needed it, but this isn't across the Midwest. This isn't widespread across the grain belt. We're still seeing areas of dryness in Nebraska, western uh, Iowa, we're seeing Missouri, Kansas. All those areas will be dry and take a look at this. They're going to be really hot as well. So uh, I'd say that right now because we're in a weather market we're seeing, you know, you see the word rain and everyone starts uh, taking profits, they start booking it and they start getting out of those positions. I think we're, we're in a significant sell-off and I think that we could see uh, continued follow-through tomorrow, uh, especially when you think of those outside participants that joined this rally. You know, this was such a nationally publicized drought. I think we saw outside money move into the grain markets, people that don't typically uh, trade there, and, uh, and I think that as soon as they, uh, you know, stops are hit, I think, you know, as soon as they don't see any kind of return on their funds, they're going to run for the door, and that can kind of uh, amplify the sell-off that we're seeing. Brock, let's take a look at fire tip. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the soybean chart here, and, and just look at how rapidly we sold off. I mean, there's a good chance if we, uh, if we can zoom in here, this is a 38% retracement uh, right around this 1520 area. And I think there's, that's kind of an area we're going to want to watch as we uh, continue to sell off if we get down there in the next day. Yeah, kind of like you were saying, we were up near $17 there for a while late last week. The last couple of days, we've actually taken about $1.30 off of this market. So we're falling pretty rapidly, as we kind of alluded to earlier uh, last week, that if this thing does turn around, we are going to fall rather sharply. Um, you know, I think we are seeing some profits being taken. We're seeing probably some funds start to liquidate some of their long positions. And we're also seeing some of those weaker longs, like you were saying, that we're getting... Uh, that we're adding positions later in the game, getting taken off rather quickly as well. So I, you know, I think we are going to sell off here for a little bit, but I think in the longer term, 
uh, outlook, we are going to be in a, still going to be in a bull rally right now. Yeah, that, that sounds fair enough. But guys, don't stand in the way of this here. Um, be, uh, be, very, uh, be very cautious. This is a very fast-moving market, so uh, you got to be nimble here. If you want to take a demo of the Firetip trading platform, give us a call, 877-472-4607. You can head yourself. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. We'll see you tomorrow.